Elaine is going to show us how to tie up a hold back strap. All right, you start with your hold back <clears throat> connected to your bridging. Here we're using a quick release, but normally this piece would just be through there if you don't have your quick release attached. So we take the strap, the strap goes between the horse and the shaft, it goes down. We will use this footman's loop, for example, but on this horse, in this configuration, we would actually bring the strap forward and go through here because the footman's loop is so close to the hold back. But for the sake of showing you how to do this, we'll do it with this footman's loop. It's probably what you have on your setup. So your strap is between the horse and the shaft. It comes in from the bottom through the footman's loop towards you. And I'm just gonna hold it here so we get the right sort of look. It goes over the shaft. Now it depends on the length of your strap whether you need to wrap it or not. We'll demonstrate not having to do more than one wrap. So you go over, your strap comes back between the shaft and the horse, around the shaft. Then when you're coming back to head back to the buckle, you go underneath that strap that you just did. And then you go back to your buckle and you would buckle it in. So that's if the strap was <clears throat> short enough that this is all comfortable. Now that isn't always the case. So if you've gotten this far, you came through, through the footman's loop, over the shaft, you may have to wrap this once or twice, which is quite normal. When you do the wraps, as you're going to head back to the buckle, you go over top any additional wraps here and you go under the original one. So it's going to look like this. Now what that does is it kind of locks this whole thing into place. It's not going to turn around and try and uncoil on you. You do it up to your buckle and there you go. That's what it would look like. Now in the event of disaster, if you had a leather strap, the point of weakness will be at the hole you use all the time. If for any reason this broke, by having this assembly here, you've got a fighting chance to get stopped without the whole thing unwrapping. So that's one of the reasons we wrap and we go under. There are configurations where you want your trace to go within that holdback loop. So in that situation, the strap is on the horse side, it's coming towards you, but you encompass the trace. You don't come up between the trace and the shaft, you go under the trace, under the shaft, we come up, and just for example here, we'll do two wraps. So the wraps do not tighten on your trace. Make sure you keep that free. We'll do two wraps. There's one. There's the second one. Again, keep that trace free. We come over top of our two wraps, under our primary wrap through here. And then when you're doing it up, it now goes over top of this trace into the buckle. So the trace can move freely in this loop. And there are certain shaft harness configurations where this is absolutely required to do it this way. What we do not ever want to do is get this caught in a wrap. So what you do not do, if you come, your shaft, your trace is here, and when you wrap, make sure you do not catch that trace in your wrap because that defeats the whole purpose of how this operates. Okay.